Hi, my name is Lauren Stark, and this is my podcast on copyright. So what are the rules about copyrights and exclusive rights? Well, copyright lasts for the lifetime of the author plus 70 years. The author gets the exclusive rights to the work, but may license them to others to exercise the rights. Now, exclusive rights means that you are able to reproduce the work, perform the work in public, display the work in public, derive from the work, and also distribute the work. Now your next question might be, what's the public domain? Well, the public domain is any work that comes prior to 1923. When works in the public domain, anyone has access to it and doesn't need any licenses to use the work. One work we all know that's in the public domain is anything by Shakespeare because it was before 1923. Now, in my opinion, Shakespeare should stay in the public domain because schools have enough budget cuts as it is. So the drama department most likely wouldn't be able to afford the licenses to perform any of the plays by Shakespeare. Now, on the other hand, it shouldn't be in the public domain because then schools would have to get more creative with their drama club. They could actually be creative and write their own plays so it's not the same thing repeated over and over again each year. This could be something new and fun for schools and for drama kids to learn more about acting. Now another piece of work in the public domain is the artwork of dogs playing poker. I think the artwork should stay in the public domain because it is such an iconic image that all Americans know and we should have the ability to be able to use it in products. I mean the painting is really cute and could go along with many dog items such as dog bowls or something like that. However, maybe the artwork shouldn't be in the public domain anymore because it is so well known and the author should get all the respect he deserves from the image with all his hard work. Even if he was still around today, he might not appreciate his artwork being thrown on a dog bowl that shows up in Walmart. Maybe people would start losing respect for the image if it showed up in stores they didn't like. Now let's talk about something that's still protected and not in the public domain. So for example, Steamboat Willie. This came out after 1923, so it's not in the public domain. It's still protected. Now, I think Steamboat Willie should still be protected and not allowed in the public domain because I think if it got out in the public domain and anyone was allowed to have the rights to it, Steamboat Willie could be tarnished and Disney's reputation could be really hurt. However, if it was in the public domain, I think maybe some people could polish it up a little, do a little work who took it seriously, and maybe Disney could make some more money off of it because Steamboat Willie looks a little better than he did in the 1930s. Now something else that you would still need to get a license for is Looney Tunes. Now we haven't heard about Looney Tunes in a while even though they're not in the public domain. They kind of died off. So I think maybe Looney Tunes should be put into the public domain because I think someone today could probably make Looney Tunes come back to life and make them more popular, maybe enhance the images or something along the lines to give it more character, bring it back into people's lives. But I also think maybe you should still get a license for it because some people are going to fight against Looney Tunes. People who grew up with Looney Tunes, they're not going to want change. They want to remember Looney Tunes how it was, not have the characters changed or any progression whatsoever. But I think it would do some good for the company to maybe get Looney Tunes back on the map and an opportunity to make more.